sense. Don't get me started. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, thank you again, Karen Lawrence, is uh, chatting with me tonight on Humagoo. What what we got right now, 727. Sometimes time, I always like to plant the live seed. You know, Karen, we we are live. You know, this is a, then we go to podcast. It it all goes out to iHeart and and all those good things for you. And uh, thanks for all that bio and all that good stuff. Now let's talk about your fabulous picture that I got up here, your big Harley, boom, 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 boom. Where were you riding oh, you into? Shot. Where were you riding into on your big we Harley? Were, we were riding to the uh, Stone House in Sturgis. Uh-oh. I lived, I lived, I just moved, just moved in December down to this Gulf Coast here in the country, and it's very beautiful, and I, lo- I really love it, and it's, I, being a musician is not an unusual thing here, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And um, which has kind of sparked me again. Okay, I'm just it's just got me kind of going. Uh, but for ten years I lived. I can say it now. For ten years I lived in South Dakota. Okay. And we were only mm, five hours from Sturgis, so we went every year. And it's wonderful riding there because they uh, have signs up everywhere. You know, watch oh, out yeah. for motorcyclists. Everybody cares because it's big business for them. And so um, it's and, and you know it's the smart way to go. And so people are, and it's very, very country, you know, which, you know, sometimes you're just going along and there's nobody in front of you, nobody behind you, maybe a few cars on the other side of the road. And it's just beautiful countryside. And um, and that Sturgis rally is really fun. I don't want to put on, do an ad for it, but it is, you're up in the, in the mountains and it's really, really pretty. And it's really wild and really crazy, you know. But that, um, I didn't go this year. I don't mind. I'm already doing wild and crazy stuff <laughs> right now. So I didn't really feel the need for 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 doing that. So uh, maybe were, find something a little closer to home next time. You were headed to play with Mr. Walter Trout on that week. Yeah, that was the 18th. Yeah, that was so fun. And that was just in Austin. That only took me, what did it take me? Was it three and a half hours? A little over three hours, I think. Yeah, yeah. Austin is really close. That was that was great. Yeah, That's and I, you know, if Walter comes back any place where he said if I'm, you know, within distance, you know, I can do it again, and I will absolutely will. That was really really fun. I enjoyed it. Yes, yeah, so took you, my dog with me. <laughs> you, you, your dog with you? Oh my. That, I did. <laughs> what a great time, and, and what a great tribute. Yeah. And again, you play with the, the fabulous Walter Trout. It was in Texas. Yeah. What was the date on that? July 18th at the center. July 18th. And he was great. Oh, my gosh. He's just absolutely great. Anybody got to go see him. What a passionate, passionate player. Um, I I enjoyed listening. You know, I was waiting backstage, and it was really amazing he really he puts on a very good show he has an incredible story he's really a survivor of just some terrible uh you know uh, irony and, and and terrible health things and he really literally taught himself to play walk and speak again um oh after a major health issue and uh he's just a wonder he really is and he's the nicest nicest guy you ever saw i mean, ever ever met he was just wonderful i had a great time I would love it if we, we uh, next time I'm saying, Walter, can we squeeze in a few more tunes? Because <laughs> the band was so powerful. They were really good. It was a good show. Go see it. I recommend it. He plays yeah. all the time, too. I've heard just great things. I know Br- the great Bridger Purdy mm-hmm. has been a guest on my show. And she told me about playing with him, I think it was in Arizona or Vegas somewhere. Right and, on. Uh, right you on. know, what a tribute and honor yeah. for you guys to all do that. And uh, that's one of the yeah, highlights of your. Great. Your career is so distinguished, and I can't tell you how touched I am that you take the time to come on the Humagoo and spend some laughs Aww, with me. And, you it's know. my pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure. We had such a good time talking before, and, and uh, you know, you're so fun, and, yeah, I enjoyed it. I appreciate you having me on. It's great, Carmen. Let's talk a little bit about Fred, Fred Halster. You, is, yeah. Is, how, how, did I pronounce that right, Fred Halster? Hostetler. Hostetler. He is just, I love him. He's got great karma, yeah. sends it, send it my way on yep. the show. And the minute I got yeah, done with you last time, he, you know, hit me up right away. Isn't she fabulous? And I, and I, and I always thought about him and, and Doug and all that great stuff that they send my way. Um, yeah. You know, he does, he's got a lot going on, too. Besides, he yes, works with he you. He's got his, um, I think it's, I forget the Taming of the Wolf it might be. He's got his own CD that he does, too. 
Yeah, he's bit. he's gotten very tech savvy. I'm very impressed with with him. Uh, you know, I really rely on him for for. You know, it was his idea for bringing out this the technology for for understanding. You know yeah. how to get these things out there because really that is absolutely not my thing at all. You know, I can hook up your TV and all your components, but I cannot think be in into the uh, great wide open like that. But he does. He's a great planner, um, and of course, he's you know a really really excellent person and really. You know, you know, we were married, right? No, no, for I did like not know 20 that. Years. No. Yeah, we, oh, we were, we were, we were together for twenty years, <laughs> and I, and so you can imagine how how wonderful it is that we are still working together. Oh, um, yeah. After another period of time in in separate and and um, combined elements, you know. So he's a great guy, and. Um, yeah, what can I say? I mean, I could go on and on. He's Fred's a very, very, very good person and super smart person and very kind. Again, that was neat. I mean, he texted me just a couple <laughs> seconds almost laugh. to get off the show, and it was so cool. He's going to laugh. You know, and uh, yeah. speak, yeah. speaking he's, of that. He's listening. Oh, sorry, Fred. It sounds like the Sammy Modlin show. That's what he's talking <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Modlin. <laughs> oh well, what am I supposed to say? You know, he's great, and he's got a a, a great imagination, a musical imagination, and yeah, we're still doing things together. We're working on a project right now. We're working on a tune right now. I just sent him weird things. He says, "Just send me the vocal." I said, "What? <laughs> just the vocal?" So he's going to fly in, put in my vocal into the tune, <laughs> and then he's going to get. The drummer and the bass player. Oh, gosh. Like, okay, really? Yeah. Well, you want me to send the backgrounds, too? So I sent the backgrounds. <laughs> anyway. That's putting a little it's stew cool. together. It's weird how like, things happen today. Yeah, a stew. We're making, he's making a stew. <laughs> you know? well, I have new toe frog. <laughs> that brings us to the LA Critics Awards. And Doug sent me that today. Both of you are on the LA Critics Awards oh, yeah. for, for this year, for the first half of the that year. Was, Blue by Nature's up there. That was surprising. Yeah. And he's up there for video. I, I thought he was on there for, for another thing, too. Wait a minute. Oh, was I, it for video? Uh, I think Doug I it was for something video. Else. I just, it might be something else, too. But it's right up there. The LA Critics just came out. There's a whole bunch of Gulf Coast. Artists on there, Diana Rain and Tony Campanella, and people right, I've talked to, right, Vin Mott right. and uh, D. Miller, right. and other people. I mean, it's just amazing and really cool. And that just came out. I know, like Gulf Coast. If you're listening, <laughs> I am really near you. <laughs> hey, Gulf. Hey, Mike. Zito. I met you at the Sioux Falls Jazz Fest. You, you <laughs> thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> they love that, you know, the the karma of love of life and food. That's so cool. Man, I'll tell you what. Let's get to a track right now. Fun and Games. With oh, love this tune. We'll Great right song. Back. Thank you. Uh, if I may say so myself. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back. Fun and Games. You don't love me like I love you. Fun and games yeah. If you don't want me anymore Do you let 
Fabulous, Karen Lawrence. Hey, Karen, I'm on cue this time. The song ended, and I said hello. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last time the song ended, I'm like, Karen, hold on, we got to talk real fast. It's over. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, the fabulous Karen Lawrence is my great guest. Uh, Blue by Nature. Hey. CD hey. is up for hey. LA Critic Awards. Uh, Fred right. is up there, and so many in the Gulf Coast were awesome records. Or uh, artists on there, and uh, big stuff going on. And uh, mm-hmm. let's talk about some of the tunes that we got here. It's been so long off the Blue by Nature CD. Tell us a little story about that. We were talking some on that. This song is pretty funny, and I I, I listened to it on this Best of Live release, and it really brought back all the. Um, the history of the song where we only had about 20 minutes of material mm-hmm. and when we first started out so i was just squeezing songs out i think i was taking a, i was working in offices a temp and i was taking a lunch break and i was kind of downtown la and i'm walking and i start writing this song and i took it to the band right away and we played mm-hmm. in some little dive and it was a train wreck Oh, it was embarrassing. Oh my god, it was it was horrible. It was and and once you're in a song, you, you just can't stop. You know, like, okay, let's go, go, hit the one chord and let's just end it. You know, people are looking at you. You're trying to make something out of it. And it was just awful. I'm leading them with finger codes, like first chord, second chord, bridge. We had even at that stage had like, okay, one, four, five. Anyway, but it was awful. And over about a year of playing 